Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to create a plan layout in ZWCAD. We'll get started right away, and ZWCAD is a very good software. It's a huge competitor of AutoCAD, and uh, I would recommend these these to be among of your tools to use if you are a professional detailer in steel or a professional detailer using AutoCAD to detail your drawings or, or detail your uh, steel members. Now. Today, I'm going to take you briefly on how to create uh, uh, a plan layout using the basic tools on ZWCAD. And today, we'll, we'll get started right away by going to my right, or I mean on my left. I'll pick the draw grid because this is the first thing you're going to use. I'll click on draw, draw grid. I'll pick on it. And this dialog box will come up inside here. This is where we are going to define... The spacing, uh, the spacing interval between center to center of of or of, 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 of a column base. So we are going to define this inside here. So inside this dialog box, I have number and size and depths of the bay. Now, center to center of my columns, I'll define. I'll define. I'll give it a span or a space of six meters. And how many grid lines do I need? I need ten of these. I need ten of these. And first of all, before I do anything, I'll clear first of all the previous thing that was there before. So I'll go ahead and clear everything. So I have an empty uh, preview uh, window here. So I'll first of all pick uh, start with by activating this bottom radio. Uh, radio button bottom here i'll click on that then i'll come here and feed this this di dimension of six meters and how many grid lines do i want i need 10 of them so once i've clicked on that i'll come here and click add and i'll see a preview of this and if you count these uh, grid lines if i if i take time and uh, i take my time and, and count them for accuracy i'll count this one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. Then that they are 10 and the spacing is 6. Now I'll go to left. I'll click on the left and I'll add how many? I want 15, 15, meters, span, uh, 15 meters span and I need two grids on this on this uh, on this side so i'll go ahead and click add so we'll, you'll see this preview and this is the grid line i want and this is normally important when you're called when you're told this just that that to give out a layout plan so quickly and if you if you take a look which tool to use you can use tecla structure tecla structures yes but it will take you some, some bit of time if you can use AutoCAD also, but it will take a bit of time. But this Z, Z, this ZWCAD is just a click of the button. I mean, five minutes, and you, you'll be able to create that uh, plan layout very quickly. Now, I'll, once I've placed all these dimensions, what I'm going to do is just to click an OK button here, and I'm right on my screen, and I want to place it right on my screen here and click that space. Now, I'll zoom it closer. And also, maybe the color of, of the the layer color might not might not be so appealing. So what I'm going to do, just select everything here, right click, and come to properties here. This will bring uh, properties uh, dialog box here, and I'll p I'll pick on color and change this to whichever color of my preference, and click escape, and that has changed everything to that color. Now I want to input my dimensions for this layout so what i'm going to do i'll come to to dimension grid dimensions here i'll click on that so once i've, I've clicked on that don't bother about this i'm just taking briefly on how to use it so i'll define dimension from that from that end and move all the way to this end and i'll be able to see all these dimensions in place so i'll, I'll do the same thing I'll come back to grid dimensions, uh, click on that, and, if, and I'll define from that end to that end, and I'll have my dimensions in place. So I'll get rid of this because it's somehow crowding uh, work, working area. So I'll go ahead and drag that and slightly push it inward and come, come this side also and select on that. And remember, the moment I select, uh, I select these uh, dimension lines and uh, try to pull it from this, and everything moved together it's a group 
and that makes makes it slightly powerful uh, than using plain AutoCAD. I'm not recommending that you should not use AutoCAD. AutoCAD is also a, a superb tool, but this one is slightly ab above it in terms of uh, if when it comes to generating a drawing very quickly when demand arises for that. So in this case, we are drawing we are drawing a plan uh, a plan layout for a simple structure here. So the request has come very, very urgent that we need a plan layout for this structure. So which tool can you use? I'm basically settling for this. Now I'll go ahead and click here and dra drag it slightly to this end and, and leave it at that. Now here also you can drag this. This is now customizable and this is how it looks. And this is how it looks now let me just drag this and also once we have these dimensions that there, there, there are no need there's no need of having this at this end and also we don't need this at this end we can get rid of that yet we can leave uh, the grid lines the grid line label in place we get rid of the dimensions now you have this in place uh, and we have we want to place uh, the column basis and what you're going to do, we are going to standard column here and click on, on it. And we are going to define the, the the size of our column. So if you see height here, this is the height of the column. So in this case, our height of the column will not go way up to uh, 3 meters. We'll define it to end at 500, at 500 millimeter, slightly above the z, uh, zero, 00 level on the ground. Now, I'll, once I've done that, just pick on that. And we have some some choices here. We have choice one by by picking center to center, by picking location one by one, or you can group everything. Like in this case, I can insert along the axis. I can pick on that. Then once I've sel I've picked on that, I'll select all these, and I'll be able to place everything right there. I'll click enter, and I have my column basis right in place. Just a click. I'll do the same thing by re repeating the same same uh, command and select the locations where I intend to place my column basis. I'll place it right there and click enter and have everything in place. So I need another column right here, right here and click OK. And I'll, I'll, I'll have all these in place. So in case you don't want these mid columns, you can get rid of them by, by now inserting one by one. But in this case, in, in this particular case, we need these central columns that cut across the mid of our uh, building so we'll, we'll leave it at this and once you've done that we are now want uh, we now want to i want now to take you through to uh, to to title block insertion which is a very very interesting tool uh, if you compare this to uh, a 2d drafting software like autocad now i'll come to file layout i'll click on the file layout and i want to insert my title title block we have variety to choose from uh, and i'll come to insert frame here and we have the t the title block here I'll, we have those we can we can choose you can choose whichever you want and i'll settle for the 2d i'll settle for that and once i've picked on that the scale remains at one to 100 you can change also to whichever scale of your choice i'll come here and click insert so slightly um, i'll try to fit in and if it's slightly bigger you, ha you also have an option of changing the scale remember this works at the same as autocad and if it fits your budget you can w walk in for it now i want to change the scale of this now now I'll, i'm going to use the short uh, the the shortcut key is on my keyboard so i'll press S sc for the scale i'll just enter on the screen and i'll be able to play around with the size of this title block like that i can leave it right there or, or i can take it slightly small uh, um, um, make it slightly smaller now i've selected everything and i want to fit it in, in here so once once you've selected just press move m for move and i'll drag it and I'll drag it. So you see, I'm not able to move it to this position because it has been constrained to horizontal and vertical movement only. So to disable that, just press F8, or you can come here and press press that, and you can drag it and and, fi and fit it in here. 
we can fix it right here there we are and we have our title block in place this is zw card and it's very interesting you you can change the way you want uh, title block or menus to be arranged not title block now i want to insert my logo for this title block just briefly now i'll, I'll come to insert once you you picked um you've selected insert just come here and select and select your title block once you've selected on it come to block editor and click on block editor so once once we have this is our title block we are working on so just double click on this and uh, you'll, you'll be taken to a different window and you'll, you'll slightly temporarily forget about your drawing that you've 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 done and uh, focus on your title block now in here we can type in the name of the company you're working for and in this case let's just use this as as uh, as an example i just type civil max here civil max maybe ltd or maybe limited and uh, give it some details just select the text and uh, press move and enter on the on your on your keyboard and drag it somewhere there replace it somewhere there just drag it make it move somewhere press m and move slightly there and we want to pull in or bring our title block so where do we get our title block make sure prior to activating the or uh, prior to coming to this uh, stage make sure you, you you can be able to access your title block which should must be a png or a jpeg format so i want to access my title block and slightly i'll drag this because this is my title uh, this is my logo here so i'll click on it right click and come to copy so once i've copied it here i'll, I'll maximize this i'll maximize this and click on this uh, on 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 uh, on the window here and press ctrl v and i'll be able to copy it right here i'll place it right here so i'll m come here and, and enable this author mode and I'll, I'll be able to snap somewhere here snap right there and this the logo I'm, I'm i'm working on so i'll go ahead and try to scale it further and select it and uh select on that spot and come to reference here to define the area or constrain it to a particular size and we want to scale it to that size so i'll select on that and come to move come to move and drag it slightly to that position drag it slightly to that position somewhere there so still i need to scale this because it's uh, it 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 is slightly bigger and you need uh, something smaller so what i'm going to do i'll right click right click once again and come to scale here and i'll disable the snap and i'll snap on that spot define the reference my reference will, will, will be here and or range from that spot and drag it to that size that size will be okay i'll come to move and drag it slightly up so we have this one here and you can also come here and add some text here just click here right click select the text and click copy cp then drag it slightly down here perfect and feed in some more information maybe the title maybe the box number maybe the box number the box number you can give any number any any code any code right there just select everything and, and give it a different maybe your box maybe 8899 a code can be that any then click on empty screen slightly drag this or scale it to a smaller text we'll define it from to that to that size and slightly slightly move it to that direction and slightly move it up uh, click move by pressing m on, on your keyboard just to enable you work slightly faster than looking for the commands on the keyboard on uh, on the menu bar here so this is how it's done so once you've uh, you've changed everything here maybe you don't need all these requirements you can change this one by one by feeding on your own descriptions 
or on your on your own fields that you you, you, you will be required on your title block or your company title block so i've, I've fed on this I've, I've, I've placed my title block right there so what i'm going to do once i've done everything i'll, I'll just go straight and close the block editor here and i click yes i save everything so this is what i have so whenever or at any time i'm, I'm going to bring, pull in a title block when i come here i'll already i'll, I'll be having my title uh, my logo already in on the title block so this is a very good tool to use uh, when if you are a regular detailer on, uh, on uh, or for t for 2d drawings so this is how it works i'll get rid of this and this is how it work it works thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for the time being i'll, I'll be taking you through a step by step on how you can familiarize yourself with the zw card especially architecture we have also made uh, Z zw card mechanical and i'm going to show, show you and take you step by step on how to you can expand your knowledge and, and use various tools to uh, to in how to increase your productivity when it, when it comes to uh, drawing production and detailing uh, many strip many types of drawings maybe in architecture mechanical structures and these are the among, uh, among the tools one of the tools that can increase your productivity in in drawing general in, in drawing creation thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm Maurice Dimba and bye bye and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and take care be safe be uh, keep off from coronavirus the COVID-19. Bye-bye. Thank you.